Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 1 assignment 1 answers of the course Introduction to Embedded System Design. I will upload the answers of every week of this course in this channel. So if you want to get the answers then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So when I upload the videos you will get the notification. Okay. So which of the following is not an example of embedded system is the first question of week 1. The answer will be smartphone. Now number 2 which of the following is not true. Embedded systems are general purpose devices. It's not true because its embedded systems uh, are made because uh, to, uh, get, uh, to for specific task. Okay, uh, to do specific task. It's not for general purpose. Now uh, number three, which of the following is or are the characteristics of RISC architecture? What is the full form of RISC reduced instruction set computer architecture? So. Uh, for this architecture, uh, uh, it has fewer instructions, laser power consumption and has laser transistor compared to CISC. It is complex instruction set computer. Okay. How does active noise cancellation work? It actively monitors the noise and produces the antiphase version of the noise. Now question number 5. Which of the following is or are a basic feature of microcontroller? So and our answer will be uh, CPU, timer and input output port. Now question number 6, in a, if, a, if a SRAM has 32 data pins and can store 262144 bytes of data, how many addresses line does it have? So 32. Now what is DMA used for? Question number 7. It, it uses for uh, directly transferring data to form uh, memory or uh, uh, to or from input output port without interference of CPU. Now question number 8. What is not a feature that a con microcontroller adds to the uh, Gillette Fusion ProGlide Razor? Uh, so option will be orders new Razor when lifetime of the Razor has expired. Now question number 9. Which of the following statements are correct? DRAM requires constant refreshing and SRAM consumes laser power because it does not require constant refreshing. Now question number 10. How does color mixture uh, project work? So uh, option B will be our answer for this question. It samples values from potentiometer using an ADC and sets the intensity of LEDs using PWA. So if you get some help from this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.